Um, oh, my God. My guest today. What a, a, a treat this is whenever he's here. Uh, the, the, the Internet is alight with people saying it's about time. Uh, let's bring Ronnie Bennington in. Yes, Ron Bennington is our uh, guest here today. Uh, like I said, always a, a treat. I didn't think Ron. I didn't think Ronnie would. Hey, hey Ron. Hey. Hey. hey, how are you? Doing great, Ronnie. Good. I wanted to make sure I come see you. Thank you. I know. Uh, Please. December is always a problem month for you. So it's uh, well. It uh, a year ago. I I do recall an issue. And why oh, would you know? Founder of Teen Challenge. Oh boy. Oh, boy, that doesn't <laughs> sound good. I'm telling you, people. Uh, if let me take your teens. Some no, of the yeah. Yeah. We are Taking a, a, a few more uh, Barry Crimmins. And if you want to be safe, and there's riot. Uh, no, there's a, an street, old video of him crying. Do? Is it's your an old video from uh, the 80s burning? of him confessing his sins on television and crying. It's classic. That, uh, that the Buttafuoco thing. Jerry with Falwell had Jerry a fall, Falwell, uh, a fallout. Like before that, it was just the the newsstand, like a mm -hmm. or the grocery store tabloid thing. And then once a current affair, I think it was, came on, it was over. That right. was it for the fucking media. They realized, all right, the six o'clock news is on, no one's watching it. Seven o'clock, a current affair comes on, and it's supposed to be news, and everyone's watching it. So why don't we just make the six o'clock news like a current affair? And that was it. Pandora the has races. left the box. I'll tell you something else in the 80s that changed everything was lifestyles of the rich and famous. Because before that, if you were a rich kid, you were considered homosexual. <laughs> because your dad had money, you were effeminate. Right. And then after that is when the ball was started. Like, look at all this. Yeah. I got all this shit. And we never really saw any of that in uh, celebrities either. Right. Like, it all of a sudden, the, the celebrity became open to us. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do we have here? We're, we're like uh, watching Mommy Dearest and seeing uh, yeah. the radio uh, interview with Cindy Crawford and her right. kids. And uh, uh, all the children went to sleep. Yeah. And Santa came down the <laughs> chimney. <laughs> I just, for legal reasons, it was Joan Crawford, not Cindy Crawford. Oh, yeah, it was She's Joan a, Crawford. Did I say Cindy Crawford? That's Cindy hilarious. Crawford is a very nice model. Dude, that would have been great <laughs> if Cindy Crawford had done that. But you're right. It was indeed Joan Crawford. I knew it was a Crawford, but it was Broderick Crawford. Broderick Crawford. That's who it was for everybody uh, over 60. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, watching uh, this program. Do you have that? Did you find it? Nah, still looking. Wow. You sure it was Jim Baker? Yeah, when he was going to Jim Baker. I have sinned yeah. against you, my lord. He really lost his shit. Oh, he was crying like a bitch. Jimmy Swaggart? Was it Swaggart? Swaggart. That's what comes up with I have sinned. Oh, let me hey, see. Yeah, it could have been Swaggart. Okay. Oh, my God. I need an 80s history lesson. Yeah. What did Swaggart do? He apparently sinned. Oh, I, I love this. To those that I have. I thought it was Baker. Wrong. That I have sinned against. Well, that First of all, it's going me, me, my wife, Francis. God never gave a man a better helpmate, helpmate. and companion. What? What does that mean? Look at oh, her! Oh, look at her! You motherfucker! You son of a bitch! Look at the hair! It's yeah. just fantastic. The bush the looked the same. Oh, been yeah. Taken through the ether waves. Ether waves. Ether to bunny. The great cities this was... of the world and cover this globe. It would it's never have been done. Back then. Yeah. People didn't do this. Were it not for her strength, oh, oh, oh. her courage, God. her consecration to her redeemer. The Lord Jesus Christ. Is that guy crying behind him? Oh, no. It was fixing his mustache. <laughs> How long is this? I want to get to the meat and potatoes. Look, look at her. Is. Look at her. She's not happy at all. God could never give a man, a father, a minister of the gospel, a uh, phone him. And in these day. trying days. <laughs> there he goes. He's winding up. 
pads of hell. <laughs> oh, it's so great to when you saw like a religious holy roller phony yeah. crook oh, sure. just hung out and to dry. I love, like and I there worship. he goes. <laughs> I bow at his feet. Like the girl did to you, right? Who has saved me and washed me and cleansed me. Washed me. Washed like my pillow. You could wash him. I have sinned against you, my Lord. Oh, there you go. Uh, I have sinned against And I would ask that your precious I came out of Dayton, Ohio with two bad knees and a dream. (laughs) Become a major league ball player. Every stain... Every stain. Until it is in the seas of God's forgetfulness. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't Never to make be any sense. Against All me. right, there he goes. That's uh, uh it, it, but but like if you have that holy thing, mm-hmm. like you could get up there and say, yeah, it's I like rambling. But it's just like I sinned. I yeah. and everyone goes, oh, oh my God, how brave of you! So he's brave. He's a brave man. He's, uh. <sighs> you know, he's uh, Jerry Lee Lewis's cousin. Is he? That's Jerry Lee. Well, that Lewis's makes sense. Cousin. It's all genetic, right? The killer. The killer. Who's still alive? Are you kidding? Jerry Lee Lewis is Jerry Lee Lewis and Jerry Lewis are both still alive. Which is amazing. Yeah. Yes. Jerry Lee Lewis. As a kid, I would see Jerry Lee Lewis and be upset that it wasn't Jerry Lewis. Uh, like some in the TV guide, I look it real quick so and see like Jerry Lee Lewis. I'm like, oh, Jerry Lewis. I want to see like the Nutty Professor or something. Yeah. And then it's like, oh no, it's this guy. This fucking hillbilly. Yeah, it was. Lady. <laughs> I just went to uh, the new Shake Shack over there in Penn Station. Uh-huh. Let me tell you, they opened that place up and uh, pretty goddamn good burgers there. But uh, it just opened. And uh, I felt so bad for a guy that was working in there because, you know, when they first opened, the place was mobbed and they got to hire all these people. Um, But after a while, you know, they're like so they're assessing everybody to say who they're going to fire eventually. And this poor guy. And I remember being in this situation in a few jobs. He uh, he was trying to look busy. Right. He walked up to the line with his Shake Shack hat on and everything. And he goes. Uh, anyone uh, have a question about the menu? Like the menu. It's, <laughs> it's a big thing on the wall. It says cheeseburger, fries. Like, what could you possibly? You got a quick question. Does it come with cheese? <laughs> yeah, that's it. The okay, good. Was yes. confused. Yes, it will come with cheese. On the... Or without it, if that's what you want. The cheese is on the top or on the bottom? Uh, we put it on top. It's odd. I find that to be very... Imagine if you went to a place that had cheese on the bottom. I'd fucking give it back. I'd go, I can't. Go, what is this? Eat this. I'm supposed to eat this. My bottom teeth had cheese before <laughs> my top teeth do? Not going to do it. Can't Not do it. going to do it. This is communism. So, uh, yeah, I so felt bad for the guy. Penn's, Penn Station is like a, ha- a food hangout for you. It's now. like a food hangout yeah, now. Great. They're closing down the normal Penn Station places that yeah. you used to just grab some piece of crap sandwich or right. a wrap that's been sitting under a light for uh, 10 hours. Uh, and they're trying to make it trendy. They're revamping all the, all the um, tracks and stuff. Like, oh, go to track 17. And now it's like, ooh, it looks all nice. Mm-hmm. It's not like the old days. They're, they're updating it, I, I guess. It still smells like piss. But... It will still have yeah. a piss smell to it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you go into Shake Shack, you, you don't even, you barely smell it.